Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up and install MySQL Server on Ubuntu 20.04. So let's get started. The very first step is to update the apt package. So open up a terminal and simply type in the command sudo apt-get update and then hit enter. And then you would be prompted to type in your password. So type in the root password and hit enter once more. So this is going to take a few moments and update all of the packages list. Now once that is done, if you have any packages to upgrade, then simply type in the command sudo apt-get upgrade and then hit enter. So this is going to upgrade all of the packages that are not up to date. Once that is done, we can start with our setup of MySQL Server. Now for this, simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post. And this blog post contains all of the commands that we would be using throughout this tutorial. So simply copy this command and paste it inside the terminal. So sudo apt-get install mysql followed up by the hyphen y flag and then hit enter. So this is going to download and install MySQL Server on the Ubuntu installation. Once that is done, you need to start the services of MySQL. So for that, simply type in the command sudo systemctl start MySQL and then hit enter. Once that is done, you also need to enable MySQL. So for that, simply type in the command sudo systemctl enable MySQL and then hit enter. Once you're done with that, you can check the status of MySQL by typing in the command sudo systemctl status mysql and then hit enter. So you can see that we get the output that the server is operational. So to exit from it, simply press ctrl plus c. After that, you can check the version of mysql by simply typing in the command sudo space mysql space hyphen capital V and then hit enter. So we can see that we have the version 8.0.31. So once that is done, let's talk about the MySQL secure installation. So for that, simply type in the command sudo followed up by MySQL underscore secure underscore installation and then hit enter. So by default, MySQL installation is not secure. So that is why you need to run this command and to provide a password and the username for MySQL. So simply type in yes for the first option because currently we are not using any password. So we are going to go ahead with a blank password. After that, it is going to ask you to remove the anonymous user. So type in yes and then hit enter. And then you can simply go along this secure installation for MySQL and go with the settings that you want. After that, we are going to learn how to create a database in MySQL. For that, simply open a MySQL terminal as the root user. So the command is MySQL space hyphen u followed up by root and then hyphen p and then hit enter. So simply type in the password for the root user that you have placed while doing our secure installation of MySQL. Once you're inside MySQL shell, you can create a new database with the help of the following command. So the command is create followed up by database and then the name of the database that you want to give that is test db and then a semicolon and then hit enter. Now you can see that we have created our database. To confirm this, we can simply type in the command show databases followed up by a semicolon and then hit enter. And we can see that our database test db has been created. After that, we can also create a user for our database. For that, simply head over to the blog post and copy this command, which is to create a user named as test user and the password for that user would be secure password. So you can change the username and the password according to your liking. So simply copy this command and paste it inside MySQL shell and then hit enter. So you can see that we have successfully created our user for test DB. After that, we want to provide all of the privileges to this test user for the test database that we have previously created. For that, simply copy this command and paste it inside MySQL shell and then hit enter. Once that is done, you can use MySQL to create tables and store your data inside those tables. Anyways, if you want to remove MySQL from your Ubuntu installation, then simply exit from MySQL shell and then type in the command sudo apt get remove MySQL server and then double hyphen purge. After that, simply hit enter and wait for the uninstallation process to fully complete. Once that is done, you want to remove the unwanted dependencies as well. So for that, simply type in the command sudo apt-get and then auto remove. Now this removes all of the unwanted dependencies. After that, you also want to clear up the cache of your Ubuntu installation. For that, simply type in the command sudo apt-get clean and then hit enter. So that was how to install MySQL Server on Ubuntu 20.04. And if you want to check how to set up MySQL Server on cloud hosted platforms such as Azure, Amazon or Google Cloud, then simply check the videos linked in the description box. And that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query 